hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi i am a nigerian based in istanbul turkey if this is your first time seeing my face hi you're welcome to my channel <laughs> anyway for today's video i'm going to tell you the apps that have saved my life for the two years i've stayed in istanbul turkey using that has saved my life a lot then keep watching please make sure you subscribe to our channel make sure you like share and i'll see you in my next one Bye guys. Give me the light, give me that push, give me the bad man thing, give me that push, give me that thing that blow my mind, give me that thing that blow my mind. So guys, the first major app that you need in Turkey is Google Translate. Reason being that here in Turkey, their first language, their major language is Turkish and you come in as a tourist only if you know how to speak turkish before but you come in as a tourist is going to be a bit difficult because you can't communicate there's a communication problem here in turkey so you need google translate to at least have a conversation like straight from the airport you already need google translate be it whether you're going to use the bus or they're coming to pick your airport pick up or you need to use taxi because that is literally going to save you a lot so it's going to help with your communication with them so yeah that will be your first major app you need to download even before entering turkey you need that app <laughs> for the second one i'm going to name it as movement or transportation so to move around in turkey as a foreigner you need google map because google map every location is on the google map so you just need to put like the location that you're using and it's going to take you there so they have a ton of maps that you can use so the general one is google map they also have navi navi is like going to show you where there's traffic so you'll not be able to use that road or it redirects you and stuff most of the taxi drivers use navi for me i don't like using the map on iphone it's just map i don't like using it because it's a bit confusing so i stick to google map or i stick to um navi those two are like good but if you're using public transport like you're going to make use of the bus the tramp the douche then you need to get the move it this is the name of the app i'm going to insert a picture about on it here on the screen okay i have like two i have move it and move I eat it in Mobit. Okay, Mobit is going to show you the bus stop of a particular bus. Like maybe you want to use the uh, metro line, let's say 34BZ. You want to use it. It's going to show you from the, from the beginning to the end at which the bus is going to take. So that is why I use Mobit. It's going to like show you, okay, if I need to go to Mamara Park, or it's going to show you, okay, you can, the bus is going to stop at Belly Duzu or Gozeliot, Belly Duzu. Yeah, I think it's Belly Duzu. The bus is going to stop at Belly Duzu. These are the bus you will post up you will pass through before you get to that part. So that's why I like Mobit. Mobit is going to show you all the bus routes for different buses. Then for Mobit, Mobit is going to show you like a bus stop, the bus you need to take. If you put like a location where you want to go to, it's going to start, it's going to do from beginning to the end of the trip. Like it's going to show you buses that pass through there shows you the time and most times the time on move it are always accurate the times on move it and google map are always accurate so if the boss tells you that it's coming at 1 30 it's even if it's going to be late it's going to be late with maybe like two three minutes or it might even come two three minutes earlier but the bus times are always like accurate so yeah if the bus gets cancelled if you refresh the app it's going to tell you the bus got cancelled so those apps like that move it really helped me the first time I moved here because I ten I was using a lot of bus like to go to school, going and coming back. So that move it app like really showed me around. Like it was true that app and the using the bus that was able to know some parts of seniors that I know currently. So yeah, those apps are like good if you are going to make use of public transport and when you want to make use of like personal transport, like you need all this pickup. They have uber they have buy taxi and you have i taxi so all of them work in istanbul what you do is just um put your location and where you are going to so i'm even show you an estimate of how much like um the, the transport is going to cost and 
yeah if there's a taxi nearby they will let you know most times the taxis always come very fast when you tend to get tax when you tend to see that there are no taxis available i mostly during closing hours like the rush hours at evening like around 7 p.m ish and we're currently on lockdown but lockdown is by nine so from seven to nine the taxis are like always busy so nobody is like looking on the app to pick a, cl- a customer because they can just be on the way and get customers so yeah those are the only time when the app is like busy but if not once you use i i love using uber because once you just use it in minutes your taxi you, you'll be able to get taxi so yeah i prefer using an app to other taxi because i have had like an experience with a taxi man which i just came downstairs and I, ah okay see taxi let me just enter let me know other taxi and this taxi man stopped me on the way like he stopped me in the middle of the of a main line like main road he stopped me there in the middle i had to come out from the taxi in, in the middle of traffic I had to come out from the taxi because he was like he's no longer going even as i was in the taxi he even called another customer so yeah if you if i had ordered the taxi on uber or buy taxi or i taxi they dare not leave me on the way because i have to end they have to end the trip and once you enter they start or end the trip so they yes know how they will drop you one place except i'm the one that say oh i need to stop here that's when they stop me and end the trip so i highly suggest you get your taxis from uber or buy taxi or i taxi all this hailing of taxes they're quite risky ah i'm not ready and at least if i lose something in the taxi or i get missing in the taxi i shall know this is the taxi that i entered so it's easier so it's security wise and those taxis like for uber uber will tell you that oh do you agree that you're going to wear nose marks because your driver too will be wearing nose marks so in times of corona it's security wise to use like other taxi than just hanging your taxi so the next one is food other groceries here they have different uh, they have getter the migros deliver care for delivers being delivers sock they have a lot of um, grocery delivery apps so those ones deliver groceries they uh, they have some already made food like all the sandwich and some other stuff on their websites they deliver water the only thing they don't deliver is alcohol but based on alcohol there's always a, a what what they call it 7-eleven <laughs> is that 7-eleven but well, let's just say 7-eleven there's always a 7-eleven in an area so it's just for you to get their whatsapp number and they deliver alcohol but all these meat girls care for are like big supermarkets they have alcohol in store but they don't deliver alcohol so aside from that they deliver every other thing so yeah those apps can help you. Then if you want to order takeout, like food, takeout to eat, the popular one is Yemek Sepet. This is the app. It's called Yemek Sepet. And they also have another one, Tel- Telga Gelsim. Tikal Gelsim, something like that. But on that app, is mostly like McDonald's, Burger King, and all those stuff. Well, I've not checked, but at least for my location is mostly mcdonald's and burger king that delivers through that app you can order also order from domino's sushi sushi co delivers so yeah it's just on your mix of it is like easier your mix of it has like all the restaurants that do delivery on their app it's just based on your location if they deliver to your location then they will deliver to your location but if you're looking for anything your mix of it is like the best place to check for it the next one will be housing for housing, I already spoke about it in my video that's about pop here. I use Sahim Bide. Sahim Bide is like the best app for housing because it shows you like a lot. It shows you if this house is going to be empty or if it comes furnished or it even shows you if it's rented by the landlord or if it's rented by a real estate um, agent or just shows you everything about the house. It also upload pictures and stuff and it's kind of security wise because you just message them and you decide on which location to meet but you can also meet fraud there because i know i thought it was based on oh if you have some type of certificate before you can be able to post on sahib Mide. but sahib Mide is just like aliexpress because i know there was a period i wanted to sell off my camera i posted on sahib Mide and almost got scammed so yeah i'm going to do a different story about that so be careful even if it's showing like agents and everything be careful when going there i highly suggest you even go with someone if possible don't just go alone because 
the, the street is now red everybody's eye is tearing so yeah be careful when using the app and also for housing if you are not staying for a longer period i think the best place for you to find houses will be on facebook because there are people that to let their houses there are people that rent out their houses when they go out like maybe for vacation or they just feel like renting out their apartments for just a week or so so if you are just trying to stay for a while even though the sahim they um, house apartments that you can rent daily or monthly and stuff but on facebook you tend to like meet the person or at facebook joshua has a place facebook market is where you can find apartments too but that's to be careful about it because <laughs> You're not about to get killed so also be careful about places like that then for shopping when i mean shopping like online shopping we have amazon turkey but amazon turkey you, you will not find like a lot of stuff it's as if amazon turkey is trying amazon is trying to come into turkey but we have like way bigger apps that people can shop through so people don't really use amazon like that so the bigger apps the turkish apps that people use are trendyol they have getting Dior, they have hepsin burada they have n11 even on sahim bindi they have apps like that if you want to like shop for things like maybe you want to get a table or you want to get a side stool or even they sell everything television camera even all those migros and other stuff like Hepsin brother i know now they have care for in them so yeah those apps like tend to have everything what i do now i don't even order from aliexpress or amazon or ebay anymore because i just search for what i want on my browser and it's going to show me based on my location if i can get it so maybe if i want to get like a grip and um, get this oil online i just search for seed oil on my safari and it's going to show me like if it has it in my location so yeah those apps are like easier because they deliver quite fast because we are already in turkey so there's no need to like go around like and there are things that when you see that and think of it you'll be like oh, okay i can get this on aliexpress for cheaper price but when you go on aliexpress it's actually cheap but the time you have to wait to get it is a long time i don't think there is anything that you research on these apps that you will not get there's nothing i've searched for that i've not found even if i don't find it on this app i'll find it in the other one and most times it's on the app but just because the app is in turkish you will not be able to find it like that so that's why i mostly go to my browser to search for it before it leads me to the app so yeah then Another thing is that we cannot do international calls here with their SIM card because they have, um, I know they have Tuxel, they have Tuk Telecom, they have Vodafone. I don't know any other call service that they have. Those are like the three major ones they have. So, but the thing is that you can't do international call. Like when I was in Cyprus, we had Telsim. Telsim is like Vodafone. We had Telsim and when you buy student package, they give you international call where you have maybe like 100 minutes a month to call international numbers but here they don't have that even if they give you 100 minutes it's just to call within turkey you can't call international numbers so for if you have like international calls that you need to do and you can call them on whatsapp or instagram or facebook or something then i think you should need, you need to download telbo telbo or mobile void those are like apps like you pay maybe like 10 20 dollars to it depends on the area you just select like, hey, for me i pay for the one calling to nigeria because most times if i want to talk to like my mom or i need an urgent thing to be done it's not every time that someone in nigeria is online on whatsapp so i can call their direct number so that is why i have this app it's just like i keep it here it doesn't expire it just expires when your credits are done so i buy maybe like 10 dollar and it depends on how long I use it. So it can last me for like at least one month, two months. It depends. So yeah, try getting Telbo. If you check Telbo or Mobile Void, they have like a list of other service providers that you can use. But for me, I use Mobile Void and I use Telbo. You buy the credits from Telbo and the Mobile Void is like the app that you use to make the calls. So yeah, these are generally all the apps that I think are really important if you want to do online shopping like from the mall all of them have apps most of them have apps or you can use their website so yeah you don't necessarily need to go to the mall they have online 
websites now so you can order online so aside from that those are like the basic app that you need as a foreigner in turkey whether be it a tourist or you are living here permanently or for a while these are apps that you need for your day-to-day -day activity i hope this video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up and like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>